Hello everyone, welcome to Phone Tree Mathematics Chapter 5 Trigonometric Ratios. This is the exercise 2, which is based on the part 2 and part 3 videos that I've uh, uploaded previously. Um, before we start, you may choose to download this uh, exercise in a Word file, which I've posted the link in the description below. You print it out and then try the exercise first before you look at uh, the solutions in this video. So let's start. Question number one. Arrange the values of the sine and cosine below in ascending order without using the help of a calculator. So we have sine 55 degrees, sine 10 degrees, sine 27 degrees, and sine 80 degrees. Of course, you can always key in this in your calculator and then you compare all the values, all the sine values. But we also need to try to understand uh, if we, without using the calculator, how are we going to solve this? So refer to the previous video, we have learned that the larger the size of the acute angle, the larger the value of sine and its value approaches 1. Okay, so the larger the size of the acute angle means the larger this value, the larger the angles here, the larger the value of sine means the sine value will be bigger. So since uh, we want to arrange this in ascending order, means we start off with the smallest number first. Hence, the smaller the angles, the smaller the sine value. Hence, this will be the smallest. And then the larger the size, the larger the value means the next one will be 27 because the, this value is bigger and larger. So the sine will be bigger. Okay. And the next one will be sine 55 degrees. And the last one will be sine 80 degrees. This is the answer. B, we have now cosine uh, 75, cosine 44, cosine 11, and cosine 37. And according to a previous video, we learned that the larger the size of the acute angle, the smaller the value of cosine. So the larger the number, uh, the larger the value of the angle, the smaller the cosine values. So from there, since we want to start with the smallest cosine value, means we start with the largest acute angle here. Then the next one will be, the, next, the second biggest number will be 44. So cosine 44 will be the second smallest. 37 and then 11. So the ascending order will be cosine 75, cosine 44, cosine 37 and cosine 11 degrees. Now given cosine theta equals to 3.3 over 5 and tangent theta equals to 4 over 3, determine the value of sine theta. So since this question relates cosine theta, tangent theta, and sine theta, so there is a formula which relates ten, these three trigonometric ratios, which is this tangent theta equals to sine theta over cos cosine theta. So we use this formula to help us to find the value. So the tangent theta is given, which is 4 over 3. And then sine theta is the value that we are looking for. So I write sine theta here. And then we have cosine theta, which is given as 3 over 5. So I have 3 over 5. So in order to find sine theta, I need, I need to move 3 over 5 here. So since this is a division, when we move this number, it becomes multiplication. So 4 over 3 times 3 over 5. 3, 3 cancel off. So we know that sine theta equals to 4 over 5. Question 3. Given tangent equals to 4 over 7 and sine theta equals to 4 over square root of 65, determine the values of cosine theta. Since we need to relate all three of these tangent, sine and cosine, we can use this formula to help us to find cosine theta. Tangent theta is given here, which is 7 over 4, 7 over 4 over 7, sorry. Sine theta is given here, which is 4 over square root of 65 and cosine theta is the value that we are looking for so uh, in order to find cosine theta we move cosine theta to this the other side it becomes 4 over 7 times cosine theta equals to 4 over square root of 65 and since we are looking for this we, we need to move this to the right hand side so I rewrite here so I get cosine theta I get cosine theta 4 over square root of 
65. So since this is a multiplication here, when we move to the right hand side, it becomes division. So it's divide 4 over 7. So when you divide a fraction, we change it to multiply and then 7 over 4, 4 and 4 cancel, you get 7 over square root of 65. So cosine theta equals to 7 over square root of 65. Question 4. Calculate the following values without using a calculator. So we have a question A here, 3 cosine 60 degrees minus 2 tangent 45 degrees. So, so since the question says without using a calculator, you can refer back to the table that we learned in a part 3 video, where we build a table for the trigonometric ratios for 30 degrees, 45 and 60 degrees, as shown here. If you forget how to find these values, you can refer back to the part 3 video. So now we continue from here, 3 cosine 60 degrees, so cosine 60 degrees is 1 over 2. So I have a 1 over 2 here, minus 2, tangent 45 will be tangent 45. Okay, so you get 1. Perform the calculations, you get 3 over 2 minus 2, which is negative 1 over 2. Question B we have here 2 sine 30 so we have sine 30 is 1 over 2 1 over 2 plus 2 cosine 30 here we look for cosine 30 which is square root of 3 over 2 minus cosine 0. So cosine 0 actually you can use calculator to help you which is actually equals to 1. Okay, so it's 2 times 1 over 2 here, you cancel out, you get 1. The 2 and the 2 here, you cancel, you get square root of 3 minus 1. And 1 minus 1 is 0, so this is your final answer. Next, question 4, uh, question C, so we have 4, tangent 45 will be tangent 45, which is 1, plus 2 times sine 45, so sine 45 is 1 over square root of 2, 6, cos 45, we have cosine 45, which is 1 over square root of 2. So 1 over square root of 2. Here we have 4 times 1 is 4. Here we have 2 times 6 is 12. The square root of 2 times square root of 2. We've learned in form 1. The square root of a times square root of a equals to a. So the square root of 2 times square root of 2 equals to 2. So you have, because these are both denominators, so the 2 will be written here. And 12 and 2 simplified, you get 6 plus 4, you get 10. Now convert the following angles to degrees and minutes. So now we want to try to convert this. So remember I taught you before, we need to split this into 55 degrees plus 0 0.7 degrees. And 55 here stays, we only convert 0 0.7 degrees to minutes. So we've learned that 1 degree is equals to 60 minutes. So 0 0.7 degrees is 0 0.7 times 60. You will get 55 degrees plus 42 minutes. So notice here the unit of the degree here is, is being replaced by the unit of the uh, minute. And now you have 55 degrees, 42 minutes. And I also taught you how to use a calculator to check your answers. So you may key in this in your calculator and check and convert the degrees to minutes by using your calculator and double check your, to double check your answers. So the same applies to this, 70 degrees plus 0 0.05 degrees. So this, to change this part to minutes, we multiply 
uh, 60 minutes so 0 0.05 times 60 you get 3 minutes so you have 70 degrees 3 minutes so the last question here convert the following angles to degrees so now we have 57 degrees we split this to degrees and minutes and then to change minute to degree okay so since degree convert to minutes a degree converts to minute you multiply by 60 so you convert minutes back to degree you divide by 60 so 48 minutes here you divide by 60 degrees you get the answer is 0 0.8 degrees so you add up you get 57.8 degrees next one we have this we split this into two parts and then we have 7 degrees plus 6 over 60 degrees so you have 7 degrees plus 6 over 60 is 0 0.1 degrees so you have 7.1 degrees and again you can also key in this in your calculator and then convert it to degrees and minutes to double check whether your answer is correct or not so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video thank you